What's up guys, Marshall Breakdowns here. Today's video may be a little shorter than normal because the match we're going to be looking at, Sag Alive vs. Snyder, only lasted about a minute and 10 seconds total. In a future video, we'll be looking at their previous match, where Snyder ended up winning a close decision. The first thing I want to look at is their stances. Because Sag Alive's leading with his left and Snyder's leading with his right, offensively, their leg attack options change. I talked about this more in last week's video on Dave Schultz. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But specifically, what we need to watch for here is the head inside single to the lead leg. Because a high crotch to the lead leg mechanically requires either Sagalive to switch his own stance or to force Snyder to switch his. So, watch the way Sagalive sets up this leg attack. He and Snyder end up locking hands, so to free himself, he feeds Snyder the collar tie and takes his own over tie. This next part's really subtle, but watch how Sag Alive angles off to the left. Now defensively, Snyder needs to be facing him, so naturally he begins to circle and square up. The beauty of this setup is that Sag Alive uses this timing to shoot just as Snyder's vulnerable and setting his weight on his stepping foot. He uses a thumb post with his right hand to clear the collar tie and then penetrates with that same hand. To Snyder, this looks like a high crotch, but Sag Alive is gonna change angles into a knee pull single. Watch now how Sagalive builds up to a tripod. When he gets there, Snyder reaches across the post on his far hip to get more leverage defending the takedown. Sagalive uses this, however, to hook Snyder's post arm and roll him across to his back. From here, it was just a matter of adjusting his weight and hips to get both Snyder's shoulders down to the mat, which he was able to do by keeping the bottom arm hooked, turning into Snyder, and capturing his far leg. So, let's look at a couple of things we can take away from this match. First, we looked at the implications of wrestling and opposite stances. Second, we saw a nice thumb post knee pull setup from Sagalive. And lastly, we saw how Sagalive was able to trap the arm and roll Snyder through to turn in for the pin. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I'll be uploading Mondays and Fridays. Thanks for watching and good luck training.